Now I want to explain you two more types of polynomials that is the quadratic and cubic. Quadratic polynomial is that whose degree is what? 2 and cubic is that whose degree is 3. If I write the quadratic polynomial in its standard form then you have to notice the standard form of any quadratic polynomial is like this. It is if I say standard form it is ax square plus bx plus c and provided a is not equal to 0. I want to explain you the reason for a is not equal to 0 because if a will become equal to 0 then this polynomial will reduce to bx plus c because if I put a 0 here 0 into x square will be 0. So, left polynomial will be bx plus c which will not be a quadratic which will be only linear. Here the degree is 2. So, it is what? It is a quadratic. But if somebody say that value of a is 0 then it will not leave as the quadratic it will convert to a linear polynomial. So, mandatory condition you need to always remember. And if I write an example, if I take an example like 3x square minus 5x plus 2, if it is a what kind of polynomial? It is the quadratic polynomial. Why? Its degree is what? 2. So, if I compare it with the standard, I can say the answer of A in this example is what? 3. Answer of B is minus 5 and answer of C is what? 2. So, with the help of the comparison of the standard and the given one, we can estimate the values of A, B and C which in help us for calculating the two zeros directly by the method of discriminant. That I will explain you when I will solve some questions but I just want to tell you that standard when compared with the given we can obtain the values of a b c a is the coefficient of the square term b is the coefficient of linear term and c is the constant one the value which is constant is known as the c so ultimately what is coming out that quadratic polynomial is in the form of ax square plus bx plus c provided a is not equal to 0 we can find the a b c from given example only the condition a should not be equal to 0, b may be 0 and c may be 0 and it has two zeros which we will calculate later. Now I want to tell you what is a cubic polynomial. As the name already describes the cubic, it means what? A polynomial whose degree is 3. As there is a standard form of writing the quadratic polynomial, there is a standard form for writing the cubic polynomial also. It is ax cube plus bx square plus cx plus d and provided a is not equal to 0. Again the reason same. If a will be 0, this term will eliminate and the left part will have the degree 2. So, it will not be cubic. It will become what? Quadratic. That is why my purpose is to tell you always remember standard form with the necessary conditions relation.